My name is Chestrina. I live here in this green valley in the foothills of the Italian Alps. This valley is not only home to an extraordinary wildlife and nature, but also to Damaner, a federation of intentional communities with over 600 people from all over the world. In February of 2015, I finally decided that I was done with living alone in my small city apartment, going every day to my 9 to 5 job and feeling like my life was slipping through my fingers. I said goodbye to my old life in my hometown of Stockholm and set off on a journey that would give my life a new direction. Not only was I longing for closer contact with nature and the elements, but I was longing for community for context with people who shared ideals and were working actively together to make the world a better place. I wanted to live and be the change that I wanted to see in the world. I found that in Damaner I could realize this dream. But as always, reality also comes with many surprises and things aren't always exactly as we expect them to be. Welcome to the very first video on this channel. Today I will speak about the expectations that I had before moving to the community and what the reality really looked like. Of course, this experience might be different depending on what community you are looking at in the world because we all have different characteristics. But when speaking to people who also live in other eco-communities around the world, I've found that the themes are more or less similar. So the first thing that I expected before moving to a community and when I was researching communities was really in line with my interest and what I thought was the most important thing for a community, which was growing your own food and being self-sufficient. And I think this is a theme for many people around the world who really want to break out of the system and feel that they are independent. And in the case that anything would happen in the world, you're able to sustain yourself. And this is something that we've seen a lot also with this current pandemic, that people have started to be more interested in growing their own food and being more self-sufficient in general. And of course, when I arrived here, I found this in Damanur. We have our own agriculture and we put a lot of importance on being self-sufficient, not only in food, but also in energy. But I thought that that would be the major project of communities in general. But I found here that being self-sufficient and growing your own food is really a small percentage of what Damaner and communities in general are about. So one of the main projects in Damaner is incarnating a new society model or creating a new culture. So we have a lot of emphasis on our own art, on our own music, on our own constitution, our own currency and many other things. So it's really the creation of a new story for humanity, a new story for the planet and for what our future could really look like and this was so exciting that it was much more than just being on the fields and growing your own vegetables but it was this holistic approach to life and this holistic approach to really create something new for the world and incarnating that and living and experimenting with that every day and I also know that other communities around the world have similar projects but also other emphasis on specific topics so for example, there is a lot of research in human design and in how to create peaceful relationship not only with ourselves and with others but with everything around the world. And other communities are investing a lot of energy in researching alternative ways of energy supply or food supply. And really community in general is this 
really creative hub of exploring and experimenting with different ways that we can live on this planet. So yes, there's a lot about growing your own food and self-sufficiency, but that is really a small part of all the things that you find in a community. This next expectation is a major one, and I think this is something that many people think and also a lot of prejudges that people have about eco-communities. And I too had those prejudges or those expectations, because of course it depends if you think that is positive or if you think that is negative. I had expected that people would be much more hippie than what I really found. But I had expected that it would be much more of playing guitar around the bonfire and just being happy with all the people around you and just going with the flow and so on. And that was probably the exact opposite <laughs> from, what, from what I found. It's much more structured living in a community that I would have thought before coming here. And people are really normal. So it's, there is this cliche about living in a community where people are a little bit outsiders from reality. And of course, there are also those elements in every community, I think, but people are very dedicated and work very, very hard to implement and to really incarnate the ideals of the community. And so there is really no time to just hang around and do nothing here. People who come visit Damanur, they often say that we are just running around all the time. And that's because there's so much things to do if you really want to change the world. And people are really busy and really, uh, and really serious about about this but of course there are gatherings and there are meetings and family meetings and social hubs and parties and also guitar playing and bonfires but that is not the everyday life in a community but this is probably different from community to community and in Damanur we really put very very high value on action and on really being able to realize the dreams that you have and make them into something that you can touch because if you only dream about something or only have ideals that, and don't really incarnate them then you can never really let people see that another way is possible you can never really see you can never really show that you're serious about something so the fact of being able to incarnate what you're dreaming about in Daman is really really important and this has really been a major teaching for me since I arrived here because I am very idealistic but coming from a city I never really put my hands into the dirt so to say I really, I dreamt about things, but I never really had to experience the feeling of ecstasy you have when you really realize something, especially something that you feel would be impossible to realize. And that is something that I think that all communities around the world have in common, to show really a practical and living example of that it is possible to incarnate a new way of living and a new society model. Another expectation that I had before coming to the community was that people would be very much focused only inside of the community and would have only jobs that were focused on empowering or creating a better environment inside of the community. But when I came to Damanur, I realized that that was very far away from the reality and people here have normal jobs. So we have people working as lawyers or doctors or teachers or businessmen or women. So people are a little bit living two lives where they have their normal jobs and then they also have the community life when they come home from those jobs. But of course, there are also people working inside of the community or in businesses that give services to the community. So for example, the agriculture or we we have our own food store, we have our own school, we have our own welcome center and guided visits and so on and all of these are businesses inside of the community. But it's not that the community is closed in on itself and that it has no connection with the outer world but it's very interconnected to the local environment. So in Damanur for example we are very active locally and politically as well. We have the major in the closest town where Damanur resides is Damanhurian and I think this is very important because if you want to change the world or be an example you also need to be open enough to embrace everything that is around you and change bit by bit. Last but not least if you like this content and if you're interested in more contents about community living I will be constantly uploading new videos so don't forget to subscribe if this was something that resonated with you and share it with your friends or those whom you think could draw value from this in the next video I will be sharing about the biggest intentional communities in the world how to visit them and what their specialties are so stay tuned and hope to see you soon